kind of bummed at the moment. I had capital P plans for October this year, but I just had to go and get sick, didn't I? So now I won't be able to complete any of the projects that I had planned for Halloween. Luckily for me, though, I buggered up pretty majorly a couple of months back. So now I can turn tragedy into triumph, saving spooky season along the way, maybe, providing I don't bugger up this one too. If you've seen my most recent collaboration with Complicated Knots, if you haven't, I'll put a link for it down in the description, but you might recognize these, the aforementioned bugger up. Well, today they get a second chance because I am going to be using these as the focal point of some sort of Halloween themed amigurumi sculpture crochet diorama type thing. In the collab video, I use these pieces to construct a tree. And while I'm going to be doing the same here, that's where the resemblance to that video is going to end. We're aiming for spooky vibes this time around. First thing I wanna do is assemble all these pieces because anything else that I make is going to either surround or be attached to this tree, this spooky tree. Well, I mean, it's not really spooky now, but hopefully it will be when I'm finished with it. This is the tree so far. I haven't sewn the, the roots on yet because I would rather have the option to freely position whatever it is I'm gonna have going on down here first and then arrange the roots around that later on. Speaking of those other pieces, what are they going to be? I don't know. I had plans to sit down and sketch out a few ideas, uh, but those, those plans ended up falling through. But I did remember, I actually have an entire bag of Halloween amigurumi that I've made over the past few years. And if I'm lucky, I may be able to find something that I can use in this project. And even if I'm not, just being around all those halloween -y vibes may inspire me. Who knows? I don't even remember where this bloody bag is. I'm pretty sure it's not in there. Could possibly be uh, this bag. Why do I have to be so short? Come here. Nope, that's Pokemon. I am very much hoping that it's not in one of the bags behind there because I don't want to have to move all of this. Yeah, so this chest is my last hope for finding this Halloween amigurumi. And if I want to get to that, i got to move all this. Please, 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 please. I don't think I actually have any more amigurumi. I don't know where else to look. I think it was in a black bag. So, oh no, there's no black bag in here. Maybe it's in the wardrobe. And now I just need to sort through all of this. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I see a black thing. Oh, please, please. A pillow's gonna fall. Yep, see ya. All right, I have a black bag. It's in there. <laughs> There's more bags. <laughs> it's a bag of bags. This is what happens when your entire friend and family group knows that you crochet or you make amigurumi and you use a lot of stuffing, they just give you all their old pillows. And don't get me wrong, I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful for that, but man, does it take up a lot of room and potentially, and potentially hide things that you're looking for. Oh, I can't find this bloody bag anywhere. I have one place left to check and that is the, the cube shelf over there, but I'm gonna have to move the, the bench and the big, tall fabric scrap basket and I can't do that by myself so I'm gonna have to wait until my sister gets home. I think I finally bloody found it. Let's see. All right, moment of truth. Yeah, finally. I knew it was here somewhere. Next question, can I actually use any of this stuff? It's not looking great. I'm beginning to suspect I went to all this effort for nothing. 
In the meantime, I can do some prep work for my diorama. I'm going to need a base and probably some other structures that I'm likely going to make from cardboard so I can get those out of the way. I'm thinking of incorporating some other non-crochet pieces in this too. So I'm gonna get on and do that. I've got these books that I crocheted, I don't know, two or three Halloweens ago at this point. So I'm thinking of having them like somewhere there. Then the tree, like here, with the roots maybe going up here, some off to the side. You're not going to stay there if I leave you, are you? Stay. Stay. No. But then I've actually got a whole heap of old books these were my my grandpa's he passed away about a decade ago and my nana is still finding boxes of his stuff he had like 15 sheds out the back of his place and she's still finding all this stuff so i have a whole heap of books that i can use for crafting purposes and that will sit like here and then of course the tree and I might even make another book or somehow have things leading out of the, the book here. Well, I need to wait for my book to dry. And seeing as it's just a a shitty day all around here at the moment. I don't know if you can hear the rain outside, but it's rainy, it's windy, it's cold. So I'm just going to sit here and crochet some things that I might use in my diorama, probably some like pumpkins, maybe some cobwebs, a couple of little spiders, maybe a bat or two. I'll see how far I get today, but I need to do something until the book's ready. Otherwise I'll just be sitting here literally watching glue dry. So pumpkin's done. I'm probably going to need more than this, but this is the scrap yarn I just wanted to use up. But before I do that, my book, the glue on my book is dry. So I'm going to attempt carving that. Don't know how well this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. So it only now occurs to me that perhaps I should have read this book that it's at least five decades old and owned by my grandpa, who let's just say had some problematic capital P views. Yeah, I should have read it first. So we're just going to um, use this section of the book just in case something else is visible in my diagram. So I'm gonna need to add some more glue to that. Whew, okay. At this point I have painted everything that needs to be painted and all those pieces are drying. I think the next thing on the agenda is going to be to crochet some of the smaller detail pieces which as of right now is just going to be some cobblestones because I want to make a cobblestone path which is what I've got the, the greys for. I want to make some moss or some hanging vines possibly both, the greens, and the last thing I'll potentially make is some cobwebs but I'm sort of 50-50 about whether I'm going to include cobwebs at this stage because I don't know where I'm going to put them. <laughs> All my little painted pieces 
dried much faster than I anticipated. So just really these. Which means I'm going to stop crocheting for now. I managed to crochet some cobblestone pieces. I didn't get around to any of the vines or cobwebs or anything like that. But I'm going to stop there, stop the crocheting for now. Because I want to put the foundation pieces together. And the foundation pieces are the base, the tree, the books, and the the crochet books and the real book. I'm going to put those together because all of my other pieces that I want to include in this diorama are going to be placed or structured around those. And if I can get those done today, I think that'll put me in a really good spot when it comes time to add in those details. I'm going to need my glue gun again for this, so I better go heat that up. I'm kind of liking how it's coming together. I think it looks okay. The main, the foundational pieces are down. Now all I really need to do is add the smaller details. I want to add the, the fence palings, which is what I made from my icy pole sticks yesterday. I want to add some plant life or perhaps plant death is a better way of putting it because I want to have some like dead weeds, probably some branches or shrubs without leaves. Just... Things that will capture the spooky vibes. There's actually not too much left to do. I'm surprised. My last diorama, the one I did for my uh, 100 days collab with Complicated Knots, that took me weeks. So far, the amount of work I've put into this has only amounted to days. So it seems, it seems a lot easier. <laughs> Oh, this is excellent. I've accidentally glued my bloody thing to the tabletop. And I'm finished, which you guys know what that means. It's reveal time. But just quickly, before we do that, I owe you guys an apology. I'm sorry the audio has been unbalanced and terrible throughout this video. I've had to rely on my phone for most of it, which is, is never good. I've been having a few issues with this new mic since I got it and I'm trying to fix them but I'm at the stage where I think the mic itself might just be faulty because the way the audio quality fluctuates so wildly is just it's not right so that's you know brilliant love that I'm just going to do my best to keep my audio at the highest possible quality I can for now until I can get all this fixed it may mean I have to end up buying a new mic, but these things, they all take time and money. And unfortunately, that's not something I have an unlimited supply of. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. And if it's unbearable, you can't stand to listen to it. Totally understandable. But if you can endure for a few more minutes, we can finally do this reveal. And here it is. What do we think? I I love it. I'm surprised that's not normally my reaction to things I create, but I I can't believe it turned out like this. I genuinely love it. I'm glad because originally my plan was to have like vines all up in the tree, but I decided to go with cobwebs instead. I'm crocheted some little spiders. Not all of them are glued down. And I thought cobwebs, spiders much better match than just some vines and it's a bit messy but I think that sort of captures the spooky cobweb covered vibes so good choice parsley glad you went with the cobwebs but yeah just in general I like the spooky fairy tale theme it's got going on I didn't do too great on the moss I wish that had have been a little bit nicer to look at but Again, for something that's supposed to be run down, decrepit, spooky, 
I can give it a pass. Yeah, I don't know what else to add. I just, I really like it. I like my little lantern that lights up. I like the fact that I was able to use up a lot of scrap and some junk in this project. That's always good to upcycle and recycle things. I'm surprised at how well the grass turned out. I was thinking it might be a little bit too green. I should have gone for maybe creams or some fawny colors to give it the appearance of dry grass. But no, I think the addition of some green grass was pretty cool. I keep getting caught in my own cobwebs, almost as bloody bad as real cobwebs. So anyway, that is my Halloween diorama. I'm super happy with it. What did you guys think of it? Let me know down in the comments. And because my Halloween plans got pushed back quite a bit, I'm not 100% sure when this video is going to be going up. So if Halloween is soon, I hope you enjoy your Halloween evening, your spooky season, whatever you happen to be doing that night, or if you're doing nothing at all, I hope you enjoy yourself with that too. If I can get it finished, there will be a second Halloween video coming out. But again, whether or not that's in time for actual Halloween, who knows at this stage? So we'll see how we go. Thank you all for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, like the video if you enjoyed it, share it if you think it's worth sharing, and I will see you all next week with potentially another Halloween video.